morning everyone it is the 19th of november it is thursday it's normal work day um and kitchen fitting day and if you're new to the channel my name is Gemma, and i'm losing weight following the slimming world plan uh today is going to be what i eat in a day um but like i said it's a bit crazy at the minute not having a kitchen but i will certainly try my best um yes they were a bit beige no speed food or anything like that um and i am feeling heavy but I don't know if it's probably too much information. But I don't know if anyone's like me. I don't like going to public toilets or anything like that. I won't. Um, <clears throat> so having people in and out the house. Um, I've not been to the toilets since Sunday. <laughs> so I'm not going to be concerned if I weigh more this week. It is what it is. Um, and hopefully my body will sort itself out. I've not gone off plan. Um have a food optimised? Definitely not because I've not been having fruit and veg. Um, today I am going to really try but it is what it is as long as I have not. I mean we went to the chip shop last night. I had jacket tape and chicken so on plan. They all had fattening stuff. Um, day before they had a McDonald's. I didn't. I did myself sim free jd seasonings chili and wedges so i am really proud of myself yeah i'm eating a lot of beige yeah my weight's not going down um but i do think that i'm doing the right thing and i don't think um i might have a game this week or whatever or maintain but i think next week i'll have a good loss so now i'm happy i'm, I'm happy that I'm sticking to the right things. So I will show you what I eat today. Um, wish me luck. And um, yeah, exciting times. I'm absolutely shattered as well. And me, um, I have asthma. And it's usually worse, A fever season. Um, or like flu season. But I've been all right, but this dust. I couldn't breathe last night. Um, so yeah, I was struggling with my asthma last night, but I've had my preventer this morning and my Ventolin inhaler and um, I'll just try and stay away from kitchen really, not go in and see progress, just stay in my little office which is like there's two doors separating us um, so hopefully I'll keep the dust away but I think it's with the plastering last night and then it's plastering the walls today so tonight um, so we'll just wait for the kitchen to arrive, I've got to go and drop the kids off and then start work, I'm hoping that I can do the boxes that are on order because I've got um, four Christmas boxes um, so I want to do them before I start work hopefully when the light's nice so I can send her a nice picture before I get them wrapped up because obviously I wrap them in tissue paper if they're for Christmas she don't want to be opening them to check they're all right do you know what I mean um, so I'm going to take photos and send them to her so then they're nice and gift packed ready for Christmas so I am going to go and get sorted now I'll show you what I eat so this is breakfast this morning. I've got two of the Neville's wholemeal bread, which is my Alpha Extra B, and two teaspoons of clover lights. That's two sins of my Alpha Extra B this morning. Okay, it's got a big bowl of Wheatos. And we are eating on our knees. She has got that to eat on, but and she's taking a little smarties um thing, my bob. That wants wiping, it's covered in dirt. Just no room to do anything. Um so yeah, this is breakfast this morning. Sat on his knees and then we're going to take Alex to school and Kayla to school. So it is nearly quarter to 11 and there is so much going on in the kitchen. I wish I could just go in and show you all, but um, the building, all the new units, oh, they look fabulous. I just, and I've only seen like, obviously the frames of them, um, but I didn't realise that like, you know when you open your door well your side bits they're all like dark um dark like black well it's not black but dark gray um oh so it just looks so fabulous honestly it's just look, looks such good quality i'm just so happy with you i chose um and i found out that he sources his kitchens from somewhere called dc interiors which i really wanted to use but they're a little expensive um but obviously he'll get them at trade and fit them and everything so when i found out i'd got them from there 
right shoved. So I've definitely, definitely made the right decision. I just can't, and he's, um, he said he didn't know if he'd had time to put the flooring down because he'd not really quoted me for that, but he's going to do that for me. Um, they, they were a bit broke um, skating board and I said to him, could you just fit that little bit of skating board in? And he went, no, I'll rip it all off and I'll put your new down so it looks beautiful. This is no point having a nice kitchen and having <laughs> bodged up skating board. So he's done all that. Um, and the plasterer he had, I think it was his brother, um, is, is, you can tell they're both perfectionists and they're just doing such a good job, really. Oh, I'm just so happy, so happy. So I've got my gammon in slow cooker. Um, not sure what we're having it with yet because we've got a delivery coming. So, sorry, there's a fly irritating me. Go away. Stop it. Don't want to leave me alone. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got that in slow cooker. Um, and then I've got... Um, that me at me Morrison's delivery. I've got Tesco next week, and then I might do Aldi week after. Now I'm gonna have surfaces. Ah, ah that one, my knuckle. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's some microwave pasta coming, so I might do because kids have had crap for the last two days. So I'll do them gammon, pasta, and veg, I think. Um, and Steve, and then I might do like. I don't like microwave jacket potatoes. So it's going to be something, an active fried potato, or I might just have veg. Just try and help. I've got my sapsumas on my desk. I've got um, a litre of dilute pop. I'm on my second diet coat. Will you stop pinging? That's gym, that. There's a gym. We've set up a gym thing, and everyone's doing gym classes, but obviously I can't join in with everything that's going on. So I'll be back to it as soon as everything's done. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd just gear an update. Too excited! And that flies back. It will smell nice. Right, I'm in a meeting in 15 minutes. I've um, just got up, they must have done some to plumbing because I've just got upstairs. <laughs> the toilet, and then I washed my hands and sink water just exploded at me. Um, so I got all wet. Now, that has gone down my sleeve, that fly. What? <laughs> no, I don't want to have to kill you. I don't know why it's so attractive. But don't want in my Diet Coke. Right. It's just a madhouse. The fly's attacking me. My phone won't stop pinging. It's popped up that I've got a meeting now, so... Yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm too excited. But I'm going to be on plan again. I thought, do you know, I, I, I know obviously it's probably the toilet business, but I did think we obviously only having around five sins. Obviously, I guesstimated I'd weigh less today, but never mind. I'll get there eventually. So here is dinner today. I have got some corned beef hash that was in the freezer. It's my last portion and it is one and a half sins for the corned beef and the grave granules that's been used in it. And it is jam packed with speed food. So hopefully this will help this week. Um, so, so far I am on three and a half sins so far today. So we're just on the school walk, just picking out Kaylee up and I'm socially distanced walking with my mum who's had a face mask on all the way. <laughs> and Bonnie's joined us, ain't you Bonnie Boo? She's doing all right, she's not collapsed on her face this time so not doing too bad. And I'm just rushing back because I've realised that my Morrison's orders at four o'clock. I've just got a message saying that there's absolutely tons of substitutions and missing items and the substitutions are rubbish um, but I'm not going to film it all but I will show you some bits I think so this is the makeshift kitchen underway I've got the slow cooker in the background with some gammon in active fry with some just cut up chips but obviously well cut up potatoes but obviously 
I've not been able to rinse them and pat them dry like I normally do, so they're not going to be as nice as usual. I've put some JD seasonings on them. I've got the microwave because I'm doing some microwave macaroni cheese, and I've got some 10 stem broccoli in the steamer. So I'm trying my best, but I'll, I'll tell you what, it is so stressful, and I don't think I'm going to be cooking tomorrow night. I can't see me cooking. It is stressing me out. Um, they'd substituted a lot of my things, um, and like I'd got some, what had I got? I'd got some like microwave beef that I'm going to just microwave and I got microwave mash so I could have had that beef and mash and then some steamed veg and then they've um, substituted it with burnt ends and I thought oh well I'll have them I know they're going to be hyacinths but I'll have them and then I've had a look and they're not microwavable but luckily oven should be in hopefully tomorrow fingers crossed um, I think that's what he's aiming to do so we've got the, um, it's like, what time is it still? Is it about five? So it's quarter past five now. Because um, after work I'll just boxing up some orders. And then um, the plaster is here. So he's just doing the walls. All the kitchen units are in place except for the top ones at the back that are going to have the um, extra <coughs> fan in the middle. They can't go up yet because that got plastered. Um, so plaster needs to dry first um, so yeah it's very exciting but yeah that it stressed me out so we're either going to have like a takeaway a chippy don't even what other options is there takeaway chippy right. so you, that's it you can't go out for meals it's an absolute nightmare um, so but obviously I'll go for the healthiest option I can so I've had, a, I've had a good day today. I had that corned beef ash for my dinner, but that's it now, my microwave meals have gone. I've got no chilli left, no um, macaroni cheese. I don't think I've got uh, macaroni cheese, you know what I mean? I don't think I've got anything in freezer left that you can just microwave. Um, and I've, I have got lots of fresh meat that would cooked meat, so. Um, and obviously I've got cereals and stuff and toast for breakfast. I've ordered kids and Steve some like croissants and some pan of chocolate so it's easy for them just to get like a quick breakfast or whatever um, for the next couple of days. So yeah, it's looking good but yeah, very, very stressful. I put spray on in office and blow a fuse um, in adapter so I've had to bring it in here. Must have been a bit too powerful for it. We can't watch telly because everything's too loud, but it's all going to be cooked in about eight minutes. I've got to take active fry out before I can use microwave, and then I've got to. I've turned slow cooker off because I needed a plug. So I'm hoping that's keeping that gammon warm, then I need to slice that gammon up. So yeah, very, very stressful. So here is tea, never again. <laughs> This was the most stressful experience. Uh, that's Steve's with some macaroni cheese. I've got stuff all over. Um, totally sim free. So I've only had one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, three and a half since today. So we've finished tea, and actually, it was really nice after all that stress. We've got our Yorkshire farm on, and I'm just going to have a Pudding. So I'm just having a look in my snack tin just to see what I want. But I think I think I'm gonna have a mellow and marsh vanilla vanilla milk chocolate coated bar, which is six and a half sins. Um, I've already got one left. And it's the four sin one. So six and a half, and I've had three and a half. So that's ten. So. Finishing on 10 sins today, so a good day on plan and I finally had a bit of speed food I did have two satsumas earlier as well. So yeah, really good day on plan um, Excited for tomorrow because hopefully I'll be filling some cupboards in the um, kitchen because it's trying to set me up that back wall Fingers crossed. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch up with you soon